Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,228. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1,228 to 1,229 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1,206, we talked about a time calculation when you have a day and a night shift. Now, because a night shift might look like, hey, I started at 1230 and got off at 4 AM when you do your standard time calculation, you run into trouble. Now, back in this video here, we saw how to use the mod function, a really simple formula to get around this problem. But here, look at this. We have pilot 1 to 4, and this, these are the layover times. So it includes a date and a time, a date and a time. Of course, if we come down here and examine what is actually in the cell underneath the number formatting by applying the general number formatting, we know that dates are number of days since December 31st, 1899, and time is always a proportion of a 24-hour day. So when you have date and time, we're going to have no problem taking the later date time and subtracting the earlier date and time. But notice, if you have just straight time, then we have a smaller number because it was 4 divided by 24 to get 0.666. And over here, it was 12.5 divided by 24. So you can't take the smaller number and subtract the bigger number. No problem. It was easy when we used the mod function to solve that problem. But when you have dates and times, you don't have to use it. I'm going to Control Z to get that number formatting. We simply say equals. In parentheses, give me the later date time minus the earlier date time. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. That tells me three days and whatever that hour representation is. Down here, that's not going to work. But up here, it will. We need to multiply by 24. That gives us the actual number of hours, Control Enter double click and send it down. So all of these are going to be correct. This one is not going to be correct. So when you have the actual date and time, it's a little bit easier formula. Now let's look at another interesting thing. What if you wanted to show this as 76 hours and 50 minutes using number formatting? Now I always like to multiply by 24 because then I know what I have here. I have the actual hours, and I can use the result of this formula times you know, the hourly wage or something. But if you want to just display it, equals the later date time minus the earlier date time. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now we can Control 1, go down to Custom. And up here in the type, I'm going to type HH. Now notice it only shows four hours because there's four extra hours. That's the standard time for format for a 24-hour period. But if you want to see hours exceeding 24, you use square brackets. And as soon as I type the square bracket, look, it shows me the 76. Now I can type double quote space hours and double quote. So now I'm displaying the word hours even though it's not in the cell. Actually, backspace, space, double quote. And then I'm going to type MM for minutes. You can see the 50 minutes, double quote, space, minutes, and double quote. And so there's number formatting. Click OK. Anytime we use time number formatting on a negative number, which we get here, it's not going to work. All right, that's a little bit about date and time calculations to calculate total hours and a little bit about custom number formatting. All right, we'll see you next video.